Well, greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to the Tuesday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we're in Psalm 50 and reading verse 23 from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this glorious day that you've given us and we praise you for it. Lord, we come into your holy presence this day to reflect on your word. Lord, to hear your still small voice speaking to us, word of encouragement and hope. And so, Lord, we pray that you quiet within us any voice but your own in the name of Jesus Christ, in whose precious name we pray. Amen. Psalm number 50, verse 23. But giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honors me. If you keep my path, keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. This psalm of Asaph, Asaph is a, is a group of God's people who were musicians. And this psalm would be a psalm of praise, of thanksgiving to God. And it is also a, a psalm that convicts us and challenges us to, to stay uh, walking on God's path walking according to his will. And again, I encourage you to read the whole psalm. But the last verse in this psalm is a word of encouragement for us. It says, But giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honors me. And we often wonder, you know, what, what pleases the Lord? What, what does the Lord require of us? What does the Lord want from us? And truly what he wants from us is to give him thanksgiving, to give him thanks and praise. Our friends to the south uh, are celebrating Thanksgiving Day this week on Thursday. And it is an American tra tradition in, in uh, November, just as it is for us here in Canada in October. And it's a time for us to pause and to give God thanks and praise for all that he has done for us all that he has provided for us. It's a time for us to gather as, as brothers and sisters in Christ, as families, to come together, to share table together, and to um, enjoy a wonderful meal in the presence of God and to give him thanks for all that he provides for us. And... The psalmist says, this is a sacrifice that truly honors God. And when we give God thanks, when we express our gratitude towards him, it honors him and it pleases him. It delights him when we come before him with thanksgiving and praise. And it can be as simple as thanking him for this beautiful day that he has given us. Or it can be much greater than that. Regardless of what it, what, it, what it is, when it comes from our hearts with gratitude, it delights him and it honors him. He says, if you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. We are called to walk humbly with the Lord. We are called to walk on the path that he has set before us. And when we keep to his path, he will reveal to us this, his salvation, the salvation of God. When we stray from his ways, when we cease to walk according to his will, when we venture off the path that he has set us on, we move away from God. And I have said oftentimes that, that people will pray, God, why have you moved away from us? Why are you no longer present with us? And the truth is, he does not move. We move. We are the ones who wander from his path. We are the ones who turn from him and seek to do our own will. The psalmist says, if you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. 
In other words, as long as we continue to walk humbly with our God, as long as we continue to, to live according to His will and His ways and His commands, He will reveal to us His salvation. And He will be found. It's when we depart from His ways, when we move away from living according to His ways, His commands, His will, that we move away from His blessing. And so, friends, I encourage you this day, if you have wandered from His path, return to Him. If you have strayed from living according to His ways, turn to Him. Whatever it is you're facing this day, take it to the Lord in prayer and receive His promises, His blessing in your life this day. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for your word. Your word which sometimes challenges us, convicts us, which sometimes um, um, causes us to, uh, to look inside ourselves. Now, God, we thank you that you do not abandon or forsake us. Lord, you desires, desire for us to walk humbly with you on the path that you have set before us. And so, God, I pray that your hand of favor will be upon us, that you will direct our steps and lead us in the way we should go, that we may give you all the thanks and the praise, and that we may give glory to your holy name through your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose precious name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.